you're repeating it, thanks, yeah. that most of the utilities are already there in the master. But after that, I got disconnected. Yeah. I don't know whether I only got disconnected or others also got disconnected. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, meeting yeah. checked. So worker machine. So guys, understand this. All the components we have of worker in master already. So now, you know what? If you want to set up in future, maybe offline, if you want to set up a worker, you have to perform step number two, eight, and then finally join command, the one which you got it here. This one. Okay. So th this many, this command you run in 10 worker, 10 worker will be there, they're a part of the cluster. Simple. But you know, guys, right now, I'm, I don't want to set up another machines and complicate my old setups and you get lost in the, of, uh, uh, you know, Argo CD stuff. So what I'm doing right now, I'm converting the master into the worker also. How do I do that? So I'll just type this command, Kubernetes master as a worker. Worker. So I'll just put it up in the Google and that command is here. See running master and node in the same server. So there's one command which I need to run and that is this one. Okay. So I'll just modify this command. We'll have to run this command. It's a special command. Uh, I'm not giving in this uh, tutorial. Okay. But you have to run it. So nodes all master. So this command will run and make a any reason you haven't <clears throat> used that in your tutorial? What is that? Any reason you haven't made it part of your uh, uh, that? Uh, ha, in, in, in this in this tutorial, I want the people to set up a separate worker, <clears throat> but hmm. in this session, I'm not doing it. Okay. So this worker setting working or uh, this one to eight and then join command, you have to run in a different machine. Again, 15, 20 minutes, it will it will take up. So I'm not doing it, just running this command in the master and done. So now I'll just validate it. Okay. So see here guys, look at my screen. QCTL gets pod. There's no pod. So QCTL uh, run nodes. hyphen H and I'll just run one of this here to check my my user pod is getting deployed or not. And you see that it's deployed. So this cluster health is okay. I do see there's no issues here so far. I mean, it's a cube city will get nodes. Uh, what what do we get? Do we just do we get two one items? Only one nodes we have. No? Gotcha. This is working. So basically, on if you stayed yeah, the, on the uh, scheduling of containers on uh, control. Okay. 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 Take care. He's removed the taint actually. Right. He's removed the taint. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just a second, guys. One of CK question. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Can you hear me? Potential question. Yeah. Okay. So guys, uh, are you okay so far? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So guys, I did nothing great. Okay. Uh, here as part of the step, I'll remind you back to the step. I only perform this step number one using this instruction. So my cluster is set up working correctly. Let me tell you, you have to do two setup, not today. Today you do only one setup tomorrow. I'll also you have to do the two setup. Because if you remember that in my discussion uh, here, uh, just a second, you have to do the two setup. Why? Because both the with both the scenario we want. See here, we want the cluster level also namespace. <coughs> Make sense? Right. Okay. So. So tomorrow we can do that two setup today one is okay. So step number one is okay. Now guys, I'm going to create a namespace and deploy the Argo CDN. Now we will follow the official documents only from here. Okay. I'll copy this, which we need to follow. So installation. So should we do this after we finish setting it up? Because there are quite a few steps we have seen and uh, this will be a, a good checkpoint for us to make sure we're all with you. That, I mean, that's just a thought. Can I complete second also? It'll be better for me, I guess. Okay, go ahead, please. Only five minutes more, okay?
Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here I will follow the official documents only because you should always follow official documents because a live deployment. So here, guys, do we have kubectl? Yes, I am having kubectl. Did we configure the kube config? Yes, I have did it. Look at this; they are asking you to do that. Are you sure? Yes. You should also just for getting a confidence because this is my regular work, but setting up is may not be your regular work. So you do something like this also. Home dot cube slash config. Look at the content here. This is the cluster which I am talking to. And now you you will also ask why I am setting up everything in one machine because of this region. The scope of the this URL is within your uh, within your uh, VPC only. This IP address. So I don't want to change the here and there and all and struggle with the networking rather than Argo CD. Argo CD struggling is okay, but networking struggling is not okay for this session. Okay, so you can read this one. Easy way you want to read it. So I'll show you this one more command. Cube config, conf, uh, so cube CTL config view. See, this is the shortcut view. So here you have one clay, one cluster, only one context, only one user, and there's only one current, current, current context. Okay. All of you are okay? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, now, take away from the screen. Sorry. Uh, what did you want us to note from that screen, uh, Rajesh? I'm comfortable with the config file because you are going to add multiple okay. clusters today, no? I mean, tomorrow and today. Okay, okay. Because uh, if you are not comfortable, then how can you see here? Look at the image. Uh, here, remember that you are going to work with the multiple cluster, no? One as per the image three cluster, but for in reality, I'll use only one extra cluster. Okay. It can be ten clusters also. In a, if you are using OpenShift, it can be twenty clusters also. Got it. So today, are we targeting the left or the right in the left. types of C left? Okay. Okay. Cluster level. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, I have to do nothing. This is all setup is done. I'm going to create a namespace. Now, these commands is nothing great, kubectl commands. And you know that. So right now, kubectl, get ns. See guys, these are these are the default ns which we am having. Okay, I'm going to create one more ns. And here, I created. And you see here, argo cd ns I have created. Now, I'm going to deploy this, uh, uh, this YAML file. Now guys, this is the stall.yaml. Remember that I will again remind you. So you, you, you should not forget. Remember different different YAML for different different use cases. Here, install.yaml for non availability, no, non HA, okay. Thus namespace hyphen install.yaml for HA. Core hyphen install.yaml for only core. So please remember this file name. Right now I'm trying install.yaml, correct now? Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So look at this here. Install .yam. Now you know, guys. You should go and little bit of time. You space. You should see that file and read it. Uh, it's a Kubernetes <coughs> YAML file. Nothing great about it. So these all are CRDs. You all are CRD. We discuss CRD in detail uh, morning also. But please spend some time. These all are CRDs and operators. Okay, these all are collections of operators and CR, CRDs, nothing else. I would request you to spend some time to get become comfortable, not complicating too much. Back to this, and I'm running this command. So, copy, clear the screen, enter. Now, guys, this all CRD and all use. Look at this here: CRD, config maps, services, deployment, network policies blah 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 now how do i see that so guys look at uh, you have to have a little patience because image will be pulled out qctl get pods see this is my pod but i want to see get ns get ns get pods hyphen n is equal to argo cd and now these are your application remember that this is a non ha so you got Sorry, so you got an application controller, you got a Redis that is uh, for cache and repo server, which you got it. Okay, so just wait for it sometime.
still it's is happening you want to see everything um see please look at this uh on top you are getting pod then service then deployment and replica set and stateful sets so slowly slowly you'll you'll get it all these things not ready actually so just wait for it yeah so i think now it's everything is running and good now you should get comfortable with this command also so i'm copying this command just for your comfort level from here so guys this i did it and these are the commands i run it are you okay with this so far yep okay now yeah, this is that the... on on the different pieces that you switched over um, and use some alternate approaches maybe we'll have to just look at the flow what is it no on the procedure that you kept looking and then uh, swapping some of the commands right uh, maybe here it here or oh, not only this uh, from from the beginning when you were trying to do yeah anyway we will we'll follow your <clears throat> that uh, web page can you pass on the link to that please yeah i'll add that so this command which i made it is somewhere after this here i think you can make put a master, comment here. yeah behave worker that's all okay mm -hmm. so guys these are the commands i run in order to deploy the that's done now i'm going to install the argo cd how can you install the argo cd so you can download directly you can copy it wherever you want so right now i will Brew is not there in my machine. I I know that. It's not there. So let's not do that. And I'm going to download this. So downloading the Argo CD CLI. So go to that URL. And here. Uh, just a second, guys. Hmm. this wrong wrong button i click you are this is the one so guys look at my screen this command i am writing it to download the cli version okay so so step number 4 download argo cd cli now this step which i am doing right now in 4 instead of 5 instead of 4 this is 5 and this is not needed right now okay so i did 4 let me run this so see guys our go cd is not installed i am going to do that and finally I think it said failed or something. Yeah, I think it failed. It was not. It should not fail because it's a. I'm copying the page thing. Uh, but you know why it's got failed? Capital S. What's wrong? Privileges. Yeah. So the permission is not there for CentOS to write in this file. Okay. So done. Again, soon. <coughs> that so guys i will add this command here also so you will not get confused okay so guys uh, i did this argo cd installed now guys you have to work with these commands only which i was i was trying to show you right uh, through the slides so these are the things so first we have to log in and log out okay and all this thing we have to do that So guys, these all things I did it. Any questions so far, all of you? I think when we start doing it, then we'll have some questions. 
Okay, so I'll do one thing. I'll stop it because if too many steps, probably we'll lose this flow. So I'll just stop it. Hello everyone. If you would like to access the remaining videos of this playlist or 50 plus more tools which are coming under DevOps, DevSecOps, SRE, DataOps, GitOps, etc. Kindly become our channel members by clicking on the joining button. You would have access to 100s of playlists and 1000s of videos lifetime access with this membership. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Want to study further? Join our training programs today.